The only difference is that you have web feet. Okay? Now, the reason they invented these duplicates is because sometimes the son of an important person commits rape. So he says it was a duplicate people who came up from under the rock. See, they saved a hell of a lot of people in high places that way. I want to tell you about the Salem witch hunts. How many of you know about them? How many of you knew that for every witch you found, you inherited their bank account and property? Did you know that? How many of you knew that? Only four people, or five. So there was a good reason for finding witches. I'm sorry, I'm not your enemy. I'm really your friend. I'm trying to tell you about a new way of thinking. You've been exposed to the old way most of your life. You're not about to step into this. We don't know each other that well, but if you look into the Venus Project, you can get answers to lots of detail. I've been working all my life to try to find out if there's anything extra physical. Because a lot of ministers used to come to my seminars and they said, John, the trouble with you is you don't believe in human nature and you don't believe in anything extra physical. I said, sir, I've never seen anything extra physical. Have you? And they say, yes, take me there. So they took me to a woman that had the power of telekinesis. You know what that is? Moving objects without touching them. And she had a bell buzzer under the table with four rubber shock rounds. The table was highly polished, slightly tilted, and a vibratory rate that moved that object down the table. But I've been to thousands of seances. I've been to, brought, we brought people over from India. To this guy said, he never used a telephone. He telepathy, all the time telepathy. So I said, all you have to do is read my mind once. Not based on coincidence. Like a, there was an elderly, elderly person, say 70, he says, there's been a death in the family, either three weeks or three, there's always a death in the family when you're 70 years old. So I think he was working on probability. So I said, what if I think of something in the technical field, and you can't use technical language, can you describe the event? He says, yes. I says, great. So I pictured a little white mouse this size, it goes into the zoo and it eats an elephant and doesn't get any larger and walks on. If he got that, there's telepathy. See, that's not, not probability. You had a sister, you think maybe you were. You know what I mean? Everybody has a sister they're thinking of. That is most people. So then he didn't get that. Said, well, maybe he, maybe he really has that power, but it didn't work in that instant. So I pictured a wood saw. You know what a carpenter uses? A wood saw with legs. And the wood saw walks into the forest, and a tree looks at the saw, and the tree cuts the saw in half. Now that's outside of the box. And if there's telepathy, he'd have gotten it. Do you understand? But if you think of, I would think of my Uncle Harry, you know, some relative you would think of, is that right? Because, yeah, my Uncle Harry. So those are all within probability. Another time, I had a couple over my home. They claimed they had the power of telepathy. I said, great, one demonstration is all it needs. So the guy put his wife in my bedroom. I've never seen her before. And I whispered it in his ear, Abraham Lincoln. And his wife came right out and said, you whisper in my husband's ear, Abraham Lincoln. Here's how that works. They work on a posture position. If he's sitting with his arms folded, it's Lincoln. If he's sitting like this, it's Jefferson. If he's sitting like this, it's Cary Grant, the movie actor. You understand? They work out a system that you know nothing about. It's an esoteric language. Although they seem to be talking a normal language, their language has a different communication. Another time a guy came to my lab and he said, John, I can demonstrate the lab today. So that you'll be convinced. I said, shoot. I have no reason not to believe in it. I just would like to see a demonstration. So he said, I want you to call this guy in England. And you whisper from your own pictures of movie actors, take any movie actor, I think I picked Clark Gable years ago, and I said, now call this guy in England, his name was Throckmorton. I called Throckmorton, you see, I see a guy with curly hair, very tall, black hair, and his name is Clark Gable, and I call this guy in England. You wonder how that works. Well, that would convince most people, here's how it works. He's got a friend in England. 
named Benson. If you ask for Mr. Worthington, it means Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> so he's got a list of names. Do you understand that? But if you don't know that, I've heard it with my own ears, people tell me. There is no magic, nothing. No wheels that turn without a connection or a magnetic unit in the wall that turns. There is no magic. Now I read that a mother got up at night. I don't know what it was. She said she had a strange feeling and something happened to my son in the war. I know that. And the next day she get a letter from the war department. I'm sure you've heard this. How many people have heard this? So I called the war department and I said, is it true? And they said, we get 15,000 letters a day that something happened to my Jimmy and nothing happened. So you hear about the ones that happened. Do you understand what I'm saying? There's no magic. People like to believe in magic because it makes them feel good. They like to believe in a life hereafter. You know, when you kick the bucket, you meet all your relatives. Uh, you know, in, in 20 or 40 or 50 or a thousand years before, it changed at your relatives. What do you do in heaven all day long? Sing? <laughs> and the Lord said he put you here to praise him. This is not God. This is a psychopath. I'm trying to tell you, man can't conceive of God. And that's where technology is moving. They're trying to make a God. They're trying to make automobiles smart enough to tell you, check your tires, you're low in air. After that, the tire will be checked automatically and air will be pumped into it. Can you understand that? The computer will tell you to shut it off at a certain time. Your automobile, when you get through with it, you get out, it'll go and plug itself in to charge the battery. <coughs> you won't have to do any of that. The future is a fantastic place. Yes. So, what do you think does happen to us when we die? We just die and that's... Well, it isn't what I think. If, you, if I die, say, you bury me a foot underground, the plants get very tall, which is, I'm disappearing, and the plants are getting taller, and the worms are getting fatter. The stuff you're made of was always around, because you're made of plants you ate, chicken you eaten, they've always been around. Now, here's what people don't understand. Where did all this come from? That's a big question they ask. Well, if you study science, you'll find out you can take a steel ball and you can heat it to 20 million degrees. It looks like it's gone, but it's been converted to radiant energy. You can't destroy matter, matter or make matter. It can change it. You can eat carrots, become a little taller. Some of the carrots will make up your hair, your eyes, or anything else. But matter is never created. There's no evidence of matter being created or destroyed. Change, yes. You can take anything and smash it to powder. Well, when I die, there'll be gases coming off, and the plants will get taller, and the vultures will get a little fatter. But if I die, I'll on the outside. But, but you can't, you destroy the organization called Fresco. But the stuff he's made of will go back into bugs and insects and other things. Well, it's a terrible thing. I'd rather believe I go on and to meet all my loved ones. That's why people are so easily persuaded by you're a good man and your kindness will be rewarded. Now that's a good thing to say in church. And the church people, all the Bible is subject to interpretation. Everything written, that's why you have Seventh-day Adventists, the Catholics, the is subject the to interpretation. Science is not. Thank you for your time. I hope we're still friends. <laughs> <laughs>